Hello everyone, I'm Francesco, I'm the founder of Superfluid and uh, we're going to basically give you an overview of what the system is and then I'll pass the mic to Sam who's going to explain how to actually build stuff and that's the exciting part, at least for me. Uh, I'm interested, who is a developer and is going to be hacking? Lift your hands. Wow, okay. See you later. All right, let's start. So. Where is this? Oh, it's there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, hello, everyone. So what is Superfluid? Superfluid is a DeFi protocol for digitally native programmable cash flows. You can use it to stream money with no upfront liquidity requirements and with fully on-chain programmability. So you can use it to build applications exactly like any other DeFi protocol. So what is money streaming? Money streaming is this idea of sending funds over time. Rather than making a simple lump, lump sum payment, you can send funds every second to your counterparty. Now, money streaming is basically a continuous payment. It's the frictionless transfer from one account to another over time in an open-ended fashion. So streams stay open. Once you open it, it stays open until you close it. This means as a user, the UX is very good. You can open a stream to pay an employee, and until you fire them, you basically leave it open without having to touch it again. Now, why is it important? Because it links value transfer with service provision. You don't no longer have to work for a month and then hope for your employer to pay you at the end. You get paid for every second that you work. And what this means is that not only there's no delays in payments, but there's also no counterparty risk. So you can completely eliminate counterparty risk in any kind of ongoing service. So how do we get streaming? Well, we have a concept of super tokens. Super tokens are a new token standard. It's ERC-20 and ERC-777 compatible. It's plugged into the Superfluid protocol and it's usable anywhere in Web3. So it's completely um, you know, usable as a money Lego. Now, there's two kinds. You either have native token, which means you create it directly through Superfluid. And in this case, all the tokens are streamable. In the other case, uh, so you, know, you want to use a token that already exists, what you have to do is wrap it and then you can stream it. And at any point in time, you can unwrap it and basically just use it like you would normally. So basically, any ERC-20 token is compatible. Now, how does money streaming work? Well, we have a primitive called agreements, which are basically ongoing peer-to-peer -peer financial uh, relationships. So they're open-ended relationships between accounts, which allow you to transfer funds in new ways. Now, money streaming is one of them. There's more. You can find uh, more information on our website. But the important thing is that this is all happening on-chain, which means all the agreement information is available to use in applications. And what this means is, for example, your business, you're receiving streaming subscriptions. You can now build a lending application, which knows exactly how much that address is receiving every second. So you can build all sorts of lending applications that use this data on chain. And the agreements are built into the user's token balance. And what this means is that the balance that a user has is updated in real time. So user's balance uh, becomes a real time balance where all the information that is stored on the blockchain is computed with the current timestamp to give you your current uh, balance. And that will change every second. So imagine you're a business, you have uh, you know, hundreds of incoming subscriptions, you're paying your employees, and all of this is updated in real time in your balance, and the number you get there is exactly how much you can spend. So what this means is effectively, it's a real time balance sheet. You can operate a business with very little cash because all your funds are moving in real time every second. Now what happens when businesses start adopting this, they start paying their employees, they start accepting subscriptions, and all of this is interconnected. We have what we call networked cash flows. So funds streaming through the economy every second from one account to another without any friction. And we, we can do this all on chain. And you know, at Superfluid, we're very excited to bring about payments, right? Web3 is supposed to be about payments as well, right? We've kind of forgotten about that, but it's important because it brings a real world adoption we can get businesses to plug all their financial information on chain. We can then you know, build uncollateralized lending with that. So 
how do you do this? Well, through programmability, right? We're all in an Ethereum conference. We know that payments alone don't kind of not going to make it, right? You need programmability. So programmability in the case of Superfluid means you can build applications that react to streams. You can manipulate incoming and outgoing streams. And by doing this, you can create these uh, financial applications that kind of move funds in real time without needing to make multiple transactions. And that's the key to Superfluid. Once you open a stream, the money just keeps flowing without having to ever touch it again. Now, for ETH number, we have $25,000 in bounties. Uh, for top applications, we have some integration bounties up. So if you want to build something, you know, integrating with other applications. And as I said, you know, it's very uh, programmable. It's very composable. So you can pretty much build anything. And if you're lacking ideas, which is often the case, just think of what, what exists in DeFi and then say, why not stream it? Right? You can build a streaming exchange, you can build streaming lending, you can build streaming derivatives. We have all sorts of crazy ideas for you, so just come at us. Now, if you want to try it out, you can go to our dashboard. Uh, it works on, a, I think, a dozen networks at the moment, including all the test nets, and you can just uh, open a stream very quickly, and Sam will help you open a stream later. And uh, that's it from me. Now, I'm going to pass it to Sam, who will show you how easy it is to actually build with Superfluid. And yeah, hopefully some of you will hack with us over the weekend. Cool. Well, thank you, Fran. Um, yeah, so I'm Sam. I help lead developer experience here at Superfluid. Um, so I'm sure if you're hacking in the hackathon, you'll see me again throughout the weekend. Um, but as Fran said, if you want to just visually get started, you can go to the dashboard there at app.superfluid.finance. On the developer side, though, we've, we've built a lot of high quality tools to let you interact with the protocol as well. So. Um, you can see a nice little list here. Um, the first of them being a JavaScript and TypeScript SDK called the Superfluid Core SDK uh, to just really create flows with a couple of lines of code in, in JavaScript or TypeScript. We also have a subgraph deployed on every network we're deployed on right now, so you can write your own custom subgraph queries. Um, we also have uh, some Solidity libraries that help um, with just writing code in Solidity that interact with the protocol. Um, and we have a nice list of example applications in our examples app repo that you're welcome to take and, and fork and use there as well. Um, and as Fran mentioned, if you're looking for ideas, uh, we do encourage you to think of your own things because we're excited about what you guys build um, that we might not even be able to, to project yet. Um, but if you want some free ideas, you can go to hack.superfluid.finance and see some there. Um, typically, I've found that giving hackers some ideas to start with is usually pretty useful. Um, but, you know, I mentioned those as the, the four kind of main developer tools, but the one that I'd actually probably start with as a developer is the Superfluid Developer Console. So you can get there at console.superfluid.finance, um, and from there you can easily write your own custom subgraph queries without having to go to the Graph Explorer um, and do some other things like you can have an address book for different streams you're working with. You can store addresses there, so you don't have to constantly be copying and pasting addresses as you're developing, which is always a pain. So getting on to the, the specifics here of how you'd actually go about building with Superfluid, um, as Fran mentioned, the first kind of primitive that you need to understand with Superfluid is super tokens. So a super token allows you to do anything within the Superfluid protocol, so you can send streams with it. Um, and to get super tokens, you can either use a native super token. So we have some protocols in our ecosystem that have deployed native, eco native um, ecosystem tokens, like Ricochet Exchange, for example, who is, uh, who is here in the attendance. Um, but a key aspect of DeFi is interoperability. So if you have any ERC-20 token that you'd like to stream, we've deployed an ERC-20 wrapper token that you can just call upgrade on to deposit that ERC-20 or just wrap that ERC-20 token in and get super tokens that will just map to a one-to-one -one equivalent of how many tokens you just wrapped. So if I have DAI, I can upgrade that DAI and get super token DAI in return, which is just DAI X. And then if I ever want to downgrade that, so meaning I just want to unwrap it, I can call downgrade and get those ERC-20 tokens back, and the super tokens are just burned. Um, and the, the advantage here is that we have a, the real-time balance is always calculated, like Fran said, so you can always be assured that the number of ERC-20 tokens you have wrapped here will be available to you to, to downgrade at any time. So in terms of actually opening a flow, uh, as you can see, this is just one line of code. This is very simple. Um, with our SDK or with uh, some of our Solidity libraries, you can create a flow just by passing in the receiver address, 
It could be an EOA or a contract address. Um, you just pass in the token address, which is a super token address. Um, and you pass in the flow rate. And the flow rate is in way per second. So um, I'll show you an example. It doesn't look great on a slide. But to give you an idea of what that would look like, if you wanted to send 1,000 tokens per month, you'd send that, that uh, kind of nasty looking number there as your flow rate. And that would send 1,000 tokens per month. So that's kind of our create, update, and delete pattern, right? If you want to update a flow, you basically just swap out create for update here, and you can update a flow. And if you ever want to delete a flow, you just pass in the receiver, or the, or the sender and the receiver, and you don't even need a flow rate. You can just pass in sender receiver token, and you'll be able to delete that flow that way. The last thing in terms of all the CRUD functionality we're used to is uh, reading data. So if you need to get data about a flow, you can just call git flow, pass in the sender, pass in the receiver, pass in the token, um, and we'll return to you the flow rate and the start date of that flow. So with that information, because you know, tokens are being sent in real time every second, you can always calculate how many tokens have been sent between two addresses at any given point in time. So that's basics of you know, working with flows. There are some more advanced things you can do if you want. Um, and one category of kind of advanced things you can do with these cash flows is build super apps. So a super app is a smart contract that has specific callbacks on it that listens for actions that happen within the superfluid protocol. So if I were to deploy a super app contract and send a stream into it, I can have callbacks that will run every time that stream is opened into the contract, and I can have them run any time the stream is updated or deleted. So one really cool example of this um, that's in our examples repo, if you're a hacker and you'd like to check it out, it's called the tradable cash flow. So if I send funds into the tradable cash flow contract, it's an NFT that will send 100% of the flow that it receives to the owner of the NFT. And then anytime I update that flow, it will then update the outflow to the owner. And then anytime I need to transfer the NFT, um, it will just transfer all of the outflow from the NFT to the new owner. So you can imagine some kind of really interesting um, revenue-based financing applications, DeFi applications, things building on top of just like either subscriptions or, or standard payments that get really interesting with super apps. But yeah, that's a quick crash course on building with Superfluid. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you're a hacker, I'm sure I'll see you at some point this weekend. Um, would love to, to help you guys out. So with, uh, with that, I'll pass it back to Fran. All right, guys. So I hope you've seen that streaming is simple, right? Like we, we see streaming as a natural evolution of tokens, right? You shouldn't just be transferring them like we've done for thousands of years. You should be able to also stream them because blockchains are supposed to do things we couldn't do before, right? So what I would like everyone to do is to get your first stream. So whip out your phones <laughs> and you can scan this QR code. After first uh, connecting to MetaMask on Arbitrum Rinkby, and there you'll find a button which will give you a stream. Now the stream is in the BGT super token. BGT is the, the token you need to get uh, lunch during the event. So the streaming BGT will start coming to your, uh, to your wallet and you can then just access it. Every second you'll have a bit more money to spend on lunch. So they said there's no free lunch, but if you came here, you got free lunch. So, uh, but that's not fun enough, right? So what we did is uh, we built a bit of a game. You'll be able to see more of this during the event. But what I'd like you to do is buy someone lunch. So we're streaming you funds, right? You're, we're streaming you uh, some tokens. But don't, don't keep those, you know, stream them to someone else. The person with the highest flow rates at midday on Sunday is going to get some exclusive NFTs that we've developed just for this event. And all you have to do is basically be a nice person, meet every, whoever you meet, just offer them lunch, send them a stream. Whoever has the highest flow rate wins. Now there's some tricks. The game is not perfect, it's gameable, but to game, if, to game it, you need to learn more about the protocol. So you can come by our booth, if your stream is still open, we'll send you a pull up and we'll teach you a bit more about the protocol. All right, well, if you, if you couldn't do it in here, I know the reception's not very well, we'll be, we'll be outside afterwards. And I think we, we still have some time. So if anybody has any questions uh, for me or Sam, um, yeah. 